So now let us see the next thing. So there are three types of dentine. Okay. So you have what is called as the primary dentine, secondary dentine, and the tertiary or the reparative dentine. So primary dentine students is formed before the root closes, while the secondary dentine is formed after the root closure. And the tertiary or reparative dentine, as I told you in the last clip, that it is formed in response to attrition, trauma, cavity preparation. Now, the pulp has only fibers for pain. So any kind of stimulus you give to the pulp, whether it is hot, cold temperature, touch, pressure, anything is perceived in the pulp only, only as pain because pulp only has nerve fibers for pain. So the two important nerve fibers for pain are the A delta fiber that are responsible for sharp pain and the C fiber that are responsible for dull pain. So A delta fibers are going to trigger the pain that is sharp pain, momentary pain like for example in reversible pulpitis, right? you are going to have a sharp hypersensitive response to cold, sweet. A delta fiber. A delta fiber, they have a lower threshold for getting stimulated. They get stimulated easily. Now, the C fibers, they are having higher threshold. So, with the advanced stages of pulpitis or the primary stage of pulpal necrosis, it is the C fibers that are stimulated. They are stimulated by hot liquids and relieved by the cold. For example, a, a patient is walking uh, to your office with the ice pack on side of his cheek and he says oh this ice is relieving me but whenever I drink my tea or coffee it hurts me a lot. So that will be sign of irreversible pulpitis. When the pain is increased by hot liquids but relieved by cold. So we will discuss more about reversible and reversible pulpitis right here. So in reversible pulpitis, when you give the stimulus, the pain is going to start only with the stimulus. As soon as you remove the stimulus, the pain is gone. It's a reversible pulpitis means if you remove the source of irritation, the pulp has a capacity to become normal again. For example, you did the amalgam restoration without giving a base. Without a cement base, amalgam is a metallic restoration. So the patient is going to feel hot and cold. Next day, he is going to come back to your office. So what you do? You remove the restoration, put a permanent base, a cement base, and then you give the restoration again. So the pulp has a capacity to become normal again. So it is a reversible pulpitis. Reversible pulpitis has a sharp hypersensitive response. And the pain only comes with the stimulus. When the stimulus is not there, pain is not there. But in the irreversible pulpitis, as the name is suggesting, in irreversible pulpitis, the pulp has damaged beyond repair. In irreversible pulpitis, patient can have pain waking up 3 a.m. in the night with the pain, unstimulated pain, unprovoked pain. The pain can increase when the patient is lying down, decrease when he is sitting. So with the postural changes, the pain can increase in the irreversible pulpitis. Now the irreversible pulpitis will have a lingering pain. So when you apply the stimulus, the pain is coming, but it is going to linger. It's going to stay for more than 10 seconds, even after removal of stimulus. So that is the irreversible pulpitis. So once the condition irreversible pulpitis, it's not controlled. So finally, it is going to go to what is called as the pulpal necrosis. So starting stage of pulpal necrosis will still maintain the feature of irreversible pulpitis like the pain increasing by the hot liquid and relieved by the cold. So this irreversible pulpitis can be divided into the symptomatic one which can have a spontaneous unprovoked pain or a lingering pain intermittent or continuous or it can be asymptomatic one in which you don't have any symptoms. It's a long standing chronic condition so it become asymptomatic with time like in case of internal resorption and also the hyperplastic pulpitis. So definitely if the pulp is necrosed, the only two things you can do with the tooth, either you extract the tooth and replace it or you go for RCT.